Vietnam is planning to streamline its police service by reducing staff numbers following a directive issued by the Politburo. The Communist Party's own powerful decision-making body, the Ministry of Public Security has been ordered to restructure its system to build a focused and unified machine, it said late on Monday. No specific numbers have been revealed. The plan will scale down staff numbers and units related to education, media and health care in the police force. The firefighters will also be reassigned so that they can work closely with colleagues in nearby cities and provinces. The plan will also move police officers to crime hotspots. Vietnam's Ministry of Public Security has six general departments and high commands. And under each of them are dozens of small units. Some of these will be scrapped as part of the plan. In late 2016, the ministry stopped recruiting new officers and limited the number of students that enrolled in its military schools. Government auditors early this year urged state departments to tighten control of human resources after finding 57,175 public workers on the payroll were actually surplus to requirements. The Vietnamese government has 2.8 million people on its payroll, according to local media. The size of its public sector compared to the population is among the biggest in Southeast Asia. According to the World Bank, Vietnam's Prime Minister Nguyen Duan Phuc ordered government offices last year to reduce staff numbers by between 1.5 and 2 percent every year over the next five years to save cuz. Vietnamese state workers are paid a basic wage of VND $1.3,057 a month, which is set to increase to VND $1.39 from July. The minimum monthly pay is calculated by multiplying the basic wage with a coefficient determined by qualifications and experience. The video is sponsored by CNTronic.com.